everyone, it's Danny. Welcome back to another layout for the Coco Vanilla Studio design team. Today I'm going to be working with the stunning, absolutely beautiful happiness collection. I really love this collection and I'm going to scrap this photo of me and my husband at a wedding. And if you notice, I'm wearing a bright aqua blue dress with pink florals on it. So the colors in this collection were just perfect for this photo. So I'm just trimming the photo down a little bit. I'm starting out with this background. It's a, it's kind of like a mixed media effect already. And I am going to add some mixed media and you'll notice I have some die cuts out to the side there. So I have a dish on my desk full of little white that leaves and butterflies basically that I just cut when I ever I cut a cut file and I have some spare space on the cardstock I will just add in a couple of leaves or a couple of butterflies and I just have a dish sitting on my desk that I use just to pull from when I need something like that to fill in uh, something on my layout so I have a bunch of butterflies sitting there I was actually planning on using the leaves but I don't use any of those I do go with the butterflies so I'm just backing my photo quickly with the 6x8 paper pad and I've just used a just a plain white paper and then the pink out of the paper pad so I'm taking those butterflies and I am just going to uh, trace them on to some of the pattern papers from this collection and I'm mostly using blues and pinks just to go with that that color scheme of the photo but um, I, I could have done this on my die cutting machine so I have a silhouette cameo I could have done this when I cut out the butterflies but like I said they were already on my desk and I hadn't planned this layout in advance so uh, I don't didn't know what size to cut them out so it was just easier to go ahead and trace them and fussy cut them out with my scissors like I have there so I'm just bending those white butterflies up in the middle so they give lots of lovely dimension and then I'm going to glue those two pieces together just right in the center there so I can still lift up the wings and you can see the shadow and they're just lovely and dimensional. So I've gone ahead and done that with all those butterflies. I think it was five in total. And now I am just going to add a bit of texture because if you watch my videos, you will know I love lots of texture on my layout. So this is just a, a crepe paper streamer, like a party streamer that I have in my stash. Uh, probably not acid free. It's not something I worry about too much um, for my scrapbooking, but that's just something to keep in mind if uh, that's something you are really careful about. So I've just gone ahead and ruffled that up and trimmed off the excess. It doesn't show up very well on camera uh, in person you can see it a lot better and it's it's meant to be subtle so I've just traced out where my photo is going to go because I want to add some mixed media as I I do want most of my layouts add some kind of media even if it's just splatters but today I'm going to do something fun and I'm using an iridescent uh, gel medium and that's just the Reeves brand but I know Liquitex do one as well and I've I put way too much on <laughs> by accident, but I'm just going to go ahead um, rolling with it. I'm just uh, smoothing it out, trying to get it um, not too uh, lumpy. <laughs> and uh, I just used a makeup sponge for that. And it gives a really pretty, you can see on the black there, it looks amazing on darker colors. On a light background like this, it's just a very subtle um, iridescent pearl texture. And it's still wet. I haven't let it dry. So I'm going straight in with some ink uh, that I've just watered down with water. That's a distress oxide color. And... Uh, very quickly I decide uh, I don't really like how that's looking so I abandon that idea and I just come in with some it's the same ink but it's in the spray form so it's distress oxide spray um, and I'm using a paler pink there and I'm just spraying it straight on and this is now just uh, the same kind of ink but in a pale blue color and I'm splattering that on and then I've gone ahead and just sprayed it on and because these are such light colors it really doesn't matter too much if they um, a spray where I didn't mean them to because they're you know they're not going to take over the page it's quite subtle mixed media that I'm doing today so there with another ink pad this is just a bit of a brighter aqua so I just smush that down on my messy mat and add a bit of water to make it splatterable that's a very technical term <laughs> so again just a bit of a darker pink and I added a bit too much water so I'm just going to come in with a bit more ink there and just splattering that it's very easy to do um, like I, I just sprayed that on and splattered it all over I wasn't being careful about where things went I just wanted some color on my background so I've gone ahead and dried that off camera 
and just trimmed off the branding strip and now I'm coming in with some of these butterflies these are from the uh, 12 by 12 pattern paper with all the butterflies all over it that I have pretty much fussy cut to death <laughs> by now so I'm just adding those in where there are gaps between those larger butterflies I've used so many of these butterflies I pretty much put them on every layout that I've made with this collection and I still have so many left so I don't know how that has happened <laughs> so those white butterflies I'm just gluing the uh, back so the back layer of them down to the page and those white wings are still going to lift up and I'm trying to place them so I'm kind of tucking the wings in between each other so you can really see that texture and dimension so now for my title I'm using the die, die cut titles from this collection I, I really like that happy I did try to add in a couple oh, a second word to the title but the loop on the Y was just making it really difficult to layer them up and I decide that you know happy is fine it's a very simple title but it doesn't matter we definitely were I mean we're both smiling we're happy it was a really lovely day actually so I've just pulled out the die cut ephemera now I'm just playing with a few bits and pieces I put in that time to shine banner below my title um, I love that little skinny frame I think it was actually negative space between the two larger frames but I really like it so it's just gone in the top there couple of just very little florals I don't have any florals left in that die cut pack I think these were the last ones and I didn't want to go too floral because I already have those butterflies so I've just popped those in either side in those gaps and added a little bit of foam to pop the outer edges up I'm also going to add some foam to my title um, just to lift it up a little bit because there's some dimension behind my photo so I'm just adding foam to the parts of the title that are going to hang off the bottom of my photo there just so it sits nice and uh, flat on the layout there we go and just adding a little bit of wet glue pop in my little banner and next I'm going to come in with some tiny word stickers from the accessory sticker sheet I love these stickers so much so I'm just going to fill in those gaps there around my title and then one in at the top of my photo and I'm going to just layer that behind that frame slightly there we go and now I'm adding my journaling so I tried to come in with my uh, one of my fine liner pens but it just would not write on top of that mixed media I should have known better it's a very slick surface that iridescent gel once it dries so I decided to just write my journaling out with the same gray pen on some white cardstock strips and I'm just going to glue those down there popping in a little butterfly sticker of the sticker sheet just to fill in that little gap bit of an awkward gap there's just cars in the background of that photo so <laughs> then trimming off all those extra butterflies and to finish off my layout I am just going to come in with a sprinkling of gold mist and this is really lovely and shiny metallic so just for a little extra sparkle and that's my layout finished thank you for joining me today don't forget to check the description box for links to the Coco Vanilla Studio blog and shop and I will see you next time bye guys